What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Third Eye Sives. It is 5 5 5 in the morning, and I decided to, you know, hit record at that time. Well, just now, actually. Like, I was not like, I'm gonna record at 5 5 5. Like, it was literally like, okay, I'm gonna start recording now, and then I checked and it was 5 5 5. Divine timing. Well, yeah, it is 5 5 5 in the morning, guys. <laughs> I what time did I, I woke up at 5 30 just so I can like start prepping for this just because like I need more time to do this because I as mentioned in my last episode I'm doing like admin stuff for like the yoga studio at 8 and it's just I need time to prep my podcast get stuff going because the 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 prior week before that it was just a mess like the audio was not converting i had so much to do with work and it was just like it was it was bad so it's a sacrifice i'm going to take okay <laughs> so how are you guys how are you making sure you guys are checking in with yourselves make sure how your health is of course in these times i'm sure you guys are all right but you know it's easy to catch a house cold i guess so like you know keep yourself healthy and make sure you're eating good foods, drinking a lot of water. That's a main thing. You guys got to remember to drink a lot of water. Um, I know here in California, well, at least Los Angeles, it's getting freaking hot. It is getting hot. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but like, I just, I, I noticed that yesterday. Like, not that I was getting hot, but that I'm not drinking enough water. I feel like maybe when we're outside or like, you know, doing our usual routine, we may be used to drinking a lot of water but now that we're inside we're not drinking enough water <clears throat> look at me see um so that's why i have a glass of water right next to me um yeah i'm just hey yeah, yeah, drink drink water guys sorry <laughs> sorry got distracted by this car that was going by just because like okay do you hear these birds hold on and then there's also like this humming but it sounds like like a lot of traffic coming like like a busy freeway i mean maybe that is because like the freeway is not far from here but then like is there so much like less noise pollution in between that i can hear the freeway from here because i'm wondering what the like what the humming sound is but um that's why like when i saw the car drive by i was like oh it is traffic like even though it was just one car um <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways um Okay, so today uh, we will be talking about breath, 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 and how it can ground us, how it's one of the main tools for grounding. Um, I'm not going to go into different types of, uh, as a quick review, is control of your life force energy. So prana, prana is the life force energy that flows. A quick review is control of your life force energy. So prana, prana is the life force energy that flows throughout your body review is control of your life force energy so prana prana is the life force energy that flows throughout your body and flows throughout your body and then yama is basically the the control or the, like the steadiness of it i guess um so that's what pranayama is it's different techniques on how to control your breath um or life force energy okay so before we get into that you know how i said last week i'm gonna be starting reading promise it was only a one card draw this time so we could get into our lovely breath conversation so yeah the card that and i love the card i pulled like okay first of all i pulled from this deck right i, I found this deck like it's just sitting there in my teacher's room and it's messages from your animal spirit guides and it looks so cool like the box looks so cool and it's all textured and stuff and as soon as i saw it sitting there i was like oh my gosh you have to let me play with these she's like you can't play with them they're not a toy and i was just like well <laughs> these are like my toys okay so back up so yeah i borrowed them from her and i love the card i pulled for you guys and it kind of like it's a full circle so getting right into it hear these crows i'm I, i'm surprised you, okay you might hear those weird birds that i mentioned like last episode that they like they sound crazy i do, if 
they like if they start chirping by the window i'm gonna let you listen to them and then somebody please tell me what type of bird that is because like i have no idea it sounds crazy to me it doesn't even sound like a bird um <laughs> but uh what else was i gonna say oh yeah <laughs> i honestly like it just sounds so nice like doing this podcast with like naturey sounds in the background i feel like um if you watch youtube well I, okay everybody watches youtube not everybody you know i can't assume but there's a youtuber named ralph smart i forgot what he used to go by because i used to watch him all the time in the beginning of my spiritual journey but um like the beginning nah, not the beginning beginning but like in the first phases <laughs> um but yeah he's like we're out here in nature he says the same thing he like he's he's been saying the same thing since day one he's like we're out here in nature uh i don't know breathing in that good ass prana baby but yeah that's just what it reminds me of anyways oh my gosh you see how distracted i get it's 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 a terrible thing you know you gotta stay focused gotta stay zen i don't know why i have so much energy this morning i'm so sorry <laughs> okay so these are messages from your spirit guides if you want to like check out this deck it is by Stephen d farmer and they look they're so cool like i pulled a card for myself yesterday because like well i couldn't help i wanted to know what card i got and i actually got the tiger and the tiger is like i know it's so funny because i see my spirit animal is a fox right but like my chinese horoscope is the tiger and i guess i knew that when i was younger so like i was obsessed with tigers i guess i don't know why i wasn't obsessed with like crabs because i'm a cancer like i i was just more drawn to the tiger and literally like all my school reports were like on the tiger i would go to the library and pick out like almost every book about the tiger and like read about them like i was obsessed with tigers it was like my favorite animal and like i love them so much so i'm wondering like is that my true spirit animal but like i don't know i feel connected with the fox but then i was like maybe it's both but i'm not too sure or maybe like our inner child has their own spirit animal but is that even real uh, i don't know tell me what you guys think like once i saw the tiger i was like what the heck i was like this this seems right you know so yes this this deck is from steven d farmer and the card i pulled for you guys was dun, dun, dun. i wish i had a drum roll i want to get sound effects for you it's gonna be like, um, I was, oh, I was also gonna ask, should I get, see how distracted I get, okay, I'm so sorry, should I get, like, a theme song <laughs> to start this with, I was thinking about that, like, randomly, like, that would be cool to have, like, an opening theme song, I wonder if most podcasts have that, I'm not too sure, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts, but I should, you know, and get an idea of what the hell I'm doing, okay, now, the card that I pulled for you guys is the snow leopard, now, this card is so beautiful, the art is, like, the art is awesome it looks like mixed media actually but it's so pretty it's like this white snow leopard and he's standing like on this rock and the background's like this deep sea blue kind of it's so pretty um and the card says okay the question i asked was what what uh what is the message for my listeners for this week because you know i'm doing it weekly it's like what's the message for you guys this week and your spirit guides tell you spirit guides is that what i said sorry okay they say take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude i found this very amazing because well you know you may think like what the heck i am in solitude like we're in freaking quarantine but solitude Solitude is time for yourself away from everything in peacefulness. So, you may not have that. You may live with family. You may live with a lot of family. So, like, it might you might not get the opportunity to have this quiet time for yourself or, like, away from everything. Maybe you're, like, the oldest or something where you always have, like, stuff to do around the house. Like, I can, I imagine, like, Spanish families or not even, they're just, like, big families that, like, hey, get up and do this, like, blah, blah, blah. I just, like, I, I understand, guys, like, completely. So, the, the message for this week is to take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. So, I mean, maybe you can just kind of ask for, 
if you're a grown ass person you shouldn't have to ask for time for yourself like do what you need to do like get it done so that you can have this time for yourself and you know set set it aside maybe you do have to ask who knows like just be like hey i'd like at least two to three hours by myself without getting bothered or like getting told to do something like i did what i had to do now leave me alone for a little you know um so yeah maybe you have to do that so let me read to you what this this card said in this lovely guidebook that it comes with it's so nice like literally oh okay i can't so take some time out from your usual life and spend it in solitude that's what the card says it can be difficult these days to spend time in solitude to unplug get off the electronic grid and find a quiet place in or near nature yet it's important to do so at this time turn off the phone computer and television if only for a few hours although you may feel a little anxious and restless when you first do so these feelings will pass use the time for contemplation and meditation it's not isolation it's solitude solitude is a conscious and loving choice to be alone for a period of time while isolation is a habitual and reflexive coping pattern to avoid discomfort and intimacy if possible take a full day by yourself and just do whatever you feel like doing whatever length of time you spend in solitude be sure to write as often as you can in a journal if you should feel guilty or anxious about the thought of doing this or even while you're actually doing it use your breath to help you relax <laughs> as much as you possibly can during the period of time alone remind yourself to breathe and relax whenever you notice your breathing becoming shallow take three or four slow deep breaths and watch your tension and anxiety dissipate Enjoy the feeling of having the sacred space of solitude surrounding you, and remember, you're never really alone. And the associations for this is solitude, self-reliance, balance, silence, stealth, confidence, determination, perseverance, containment, sensitivity, intuition, reliability, mysterious, integration, and shamanism. Ooh. Okay, well, this card is amazing. Like, literally, just from the beginning where it's like, it might be difficult during these times to be in solitude. Like, it is. It is. Like, unless you live alone and you don't have, like, a little kitty cat with you, like I do, Haku. <laughs> um, or, like, a dog. Dogs are very, like, friend-oriented, friend I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah so this card is telling us to put down the phones it might be hard during this time because we're trapped inside what else is there to do well actually there's a lot of stuff for us to do except be on our phones so notice that notice that there are other stuff to do than be on our phones watch tv or be on the computer so if you can for a day like it said turn everything off and do what you want to do spend this time for contemplation and meditation that that used to be you know one of my favorite things i um when i first started getting into like just gaining as much knowledge as possible kind of when i like first started and like first realized like my my true journey i guess you could say oh i almost felt like trying to like come up here um yeah when i first started like i had um a notebook it's the notebook that i say that like that's my my study notebook where like i i st not my personal study but like where i study other stuff where i've read um i read like the overcoming eagles hold one that's that episode and yeah so in that book i wrote um be sure to set alone time for yourself for contemplation and reading and studying so it's very important 
to set some time even if you do it like a little bit every day it goes a really long way like if you can't just set it like oh like set aside one day and be like oh that day was nice um oh, i wish i could go back to it you know if you can just set even like okay so the whole family thing like what if you really want some solitude time for yourself in meditation and like contemplation wake up earlier May wake up maybe before everybody gets up and like just you know sit there relax with the morning or maybe like nighttime i feel like nighttime isn't so good because you're more likely to fall asleep um i mean you could fall asleep like in the morning if you wake up too early and you're just tired but i think the morning's best for this it's very peaceful and you know there's um something about the mornings where you know everybody's not awake so the energy is much calmer like once everybody starts their day and it gets all like busy and stuff like that it kind of like it disturbs the, the the peaceful vibrations that are happening um not that the other vibrations aren't peaceful it's just not the same as when everybody's kind of sleeping and calm and like nothing's really disturbed at that time that's why um you know a lot of spiritual like stuff oh, okay that's very vague a lot of like um how would you say like ceremonies or well a lot of ceremonies are done at night but oh my gosh haku hello hello she's like rubbing all over the mic and like on me and she's being cute okay you might just hear her for a little bit um just rubbing on me her little jingle of her collar um and her purring because it's pretty loud but uh she's gonna like lay down next to me soon this is like her uh build up to laying down but but yeah so wake up earlier guys if you you need to sit alone this time and i love how it said you know if you start becoming anxious during all of this return to your breath just focus on your breath and like that's what we're talking about today so um We've been talking about this for quite a while already. Let's get into... Dun, dun, dun. This is when the drum roll would start. Um, the breath. Now, what made me want to talk about this was... Well, first off, the breath is so important. And, you know, I started kind of, like, just listening to what comes to me during the week. Um, throughout things I'm learning, if I'm, like, listening to a lecture, if I'm reading a book, or if I'm just thinking. This came to me when I was just, like, randomly thinking. And it's about how important the breath is. But not specifically how important the breath is. It's more of how it can ground us very easily. You know, breath is one of the main tools for grounding. You can hear it by most spiritual teachers breath work people like practitioners um or like guiders or however you say it um just it's it's one of the main tools for grounding and it's i did not read this anywhere but this is like coming from like my own conclusions i guess you could say but um it's like a direct connection with your vibration so and i think i also heard this with like brain waves too or something like that so like okay when you're breathing you're breathing in this is prana like pranayama like you're breathing in that prana and this is actually like coming into connection with this whole thing i was watching on like the holy spirit i'll get into that in a few but you know okay you're breathing in the prana and it's circulating throughout your body right and when you're breathing out you're breathing out i wouldn't say a prana but i mean maybe it is because but don't hold me to that um it's basically like you know okay scientifically right you're breathing in the the oxygen right and your body is taking all the your oxygen is like combining with your blood cells right so you can like get that oxygen and then when you're breathing out you're breathing out the carbon dioxide i think that's what it is carbon no it's not carbon monoxide carbon dioxide i okay i don't know much about science but i'm pretty sure that's like what that is right don't hold me to that either 
but I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> This isn't, like, a very factual kind of thing, guys. Well, I mean, like, this is, but, like, I mean, this podcast, you know, you can't expect a whole bunch of scientific and mathematical stuff from me. I'm just gonna tell you what I feel, what the messages I get, and the things that I learn. If I know it good and I study it, then, of course, I'm... But if you hear me say, I don't really know, don't hold me to it. You can even look it up. But, I mean, like, if I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Anyways. (laughs) So, yeah, it's, um... So as it's linking with your blood cells, I guess you could say, um, let's go back to when I said, um, I don't know which episode exactly, I'm sorry, but um, the way your life force energy, your prana or your ki, chi, flows throughout your body is through these like little vessels that go along with your veins. Um, These are called nadis, nadis. And, yeah, so they're they're traveling all through your nadis, which go throughout your veins. So, like, on an energetic level, this is what's happening. On a physical level, it's through your blood. Your oxygen is flowing through your blood. So, on an energetic level, depending on what you are breathing in or how specifically you're breathing in, can tune the frequency that your energy is vibrating on so since your breath has a direct connection with your main energy with your life force energy your blood you have the ability to control the vibration that's vibrating on so this is why a lot of um you know breath work is just like a major thing that's in i guess you could say the spiritual community i hate saying that but like it's true that's what it is um and that's why it's also used in a lot of health stuff it's not even like breath work is a health thing too it's not like pranayama so okay pranayama apparently pranayama like alternate nostril breathing um like the four what is it four six eight breath or something like that isn't considered breath work that's like I think that's just pranayama, but apparently breathwork is, like, more of, like, a health thing. I'm not too sure about that, but, I mean, like, that's what, that's what some lady said. Some lady, like, who, like, studies breathwork, she was like, these are not considered breathwork. I was like, what? That doesn't make no sense. But, so, yeah, anyways, so, like, alternate nostril breathing is a technique used in yoga or in just, like, esoteric practices so that you can tune yourself into you know these vibrations these state of minds these you know kind of like realities i guess you can say so it just shows how important breath is and like not specifically like important for your health but also for your spiritual growth and for your mindfulness. That's why they always say during meditation, focus on your breath. Like, it's the easiest way to meditation. Just watch the breath. Um, I've seen some meditation techniques where you're, like, counting the breaths. Um, my teacher during yoga, she, to calm the breath, she counts, she tells you to count how many seconds your inhale is and then match it with your exhale. So if you breathe in four counts, exhale four counts. Um... And it's just, it's it's a grounding technique. Okay, how is it a grounding technique? Well, before I say how it's a grounding technique, I also want to mention that it's, breath can be used, and this goes according, like, goes hand in hand with the, the thing I said about controlling your vibration. Um, it goes hand, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes hand in hand with your vibration. Um, but breath can also be used to elevate raise you higher and also to ground you to bring you back to this dimension so it depends on the type of breath and that just shows how it can control reality it decides your reality basically um so for example if you do the breath work that i did um with Eric, the one that I mentioned, I think my first breathwork experience, or just my breathwork experience, I'm not sure which episode, but that's what the title is. Um, 
and it was very uh it was fast inhalation so i was like <sighs> and that i guess the faster okay so the faster yeah yeah, yeah. That's, sorry <laughs> my teacher told me like i say that all the time like yeah 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 so like that's like my main goal not to say that all the time um so that quick deep fast inhale raised my by my my by vibration my vibration immensely on a very fast rate so like i was literally vibrating like i know that i'm like vibrate like v <laughs> i was vibing pretty high guys i know when i'm vibrating pretty high when i actually feel it like and you know it's it's it kind of goes like okay so it's like wait, what if it's going extremely fast like you can't feel it right like okay yeah we're vibrating so fast that like it creates matter but i just i don't i don't know so maybe like our body doesn't oh my god there is a bug up there oh, i'm so sorry it's just like what the? it's a pretty big bug i'm not scared of bugs i just i'm i'm not gonna do anything about it honestly unless it, it's about to attack me um so yeah maybe the body's more like dense i guess i don't <laughs> i gotta look into that but um so yeah, I just know that I'm vibrating pretty hard uh, when, you know, I actually physically feel it. So that, on that aspect, aspect that's like the elevation side to it. So if you want to like raise your vibration quickly and kind of access these states of mind where you feel high or, you know, you want to release trauma because breath work like that kind of breath work is used to release built up trauma um then you would go with that breath work but when it comes to grounding you're going to want to move to the other side the grounding one the one that's calmer and still and that's the deep breath the but way slower than that it's it's the calming breath so scientific research <laughs> scientific research proves um that within i think four deep breaths your body goes from the active state into the more passive state so it's um it's basically like okay when we're busy doing like oh, we gotta do this we gotta do that oh blah blah blah, blah. like running around like our usual day-to-day -day stuff our body is in our flight and f or fight fight or flight fight or flight like mechanism thing oh my god <laughs> i knew that being so vague um uh, like you know what i'm talking about you know the the, the fight or fight or flight i feel like there's a tongue twister tongue twister fight or flight fight or flight fight or flight okay not really um but yeah it's that's um that's like our our body's natural way like we've gotten used to that and maybe it dates back to like the beginnings of times when we had to like hunt animals and be on like the you know our guard have our guards up all the time from like attackers and stuff like that maybe it comes from that and you know maybe we just gotten used to that so it's what our bodies you know even though we don't feel like you we don't feel like we're gonna fight or flight it's that vibration i guess you can say that your body is in most of the day that you don't even realize it so back to the scientific research <laughs> um these four deep breaths with just like a little bit of like calmness of the mind just sitting there you know takes you out of that it takes you out of that and puts you in the passive state so this just shows how the breath can ground you so easily so it's very crucial during these times and you know i've actually made it my my one of my focuses during during this time there's a lot of stuff i'm focusing on um but one of them is my breath i was reading that you know the the gateway 
to enlightenment, I guess you can say, is the breath. The breath. The, that mindfulness. That state of awareness, of consciousness. It's a direct, direct contact with the breath. That's, that's the key. That's the, the tunnel. The breath is the tunnel to that end goal. If that is the end goal. Uh -huh. But that actually brings me to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Now, this is a very interesting topic because I literally stumbled upon this yesterday. The Holy Spirit. Okay, now this is like, now we're going into like, okay, just only for a little bit. Into Christianity. Oh, so I'm gonna situate myself for this. Going into Christianity in the Bible. Um, it talks about the Holy Spirit, one of the one of the trinities or whatever. There's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit, if you go back to the beginning of the Bible, is I never read the Bible, but this is what this is what the Bible people say because this is what I learned it from. <laughs> um, that the Holy Spirit is the life force of God that was kind of hovering over the darkness of everything just waiting to you know create life it, it's the essence of god basically it's the breath of god um i think the bible says something about like that the breath of god created humans i guess or like this reality something like that like this humanity i guess you can say um just by his breath so that's 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 what this is so a lot of christians not a lot but it may be like some esoteric christianity i'm not too sure but they they speak about how your breath is your connection to god because your breath is god's breath so when jesus came he before he got um when he got resurrected it was like now this is, I think some people don't who who doesn't believe Jesus got resurrected? I think it's the Catholics. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um I, I, that's where like or like Protestants or something. That's kinda like where like religions drift off and like split into two. Like some believe he got resurrected, some think he didn't. Um, but so I guess in the New Testament, I'm not too sure about which what's the difference between the old and the new one. Um, yeah, so when he gets resurrected, he breathes onto his disciples and says, like, um, and he breathes the same, the breath of God. So the breath of God is within Jesus. And then Jesus breathes the breath of God onto his disciples. And then whoever, you know, finds solace in Jesus and, like, you know, devotes themselves to his teachings and to him then they also take up this breath of god um but that's what the that's what the holy spirit is that's why they were like you know the the holy spirit was within me to share these messages they become messages to spread the word to celebrate they're they're invoked by the uh the holy spirit um which is the breath of god so it just like this is just a different religious view on the breath and like I've, I've heard this from priests that you know they're they're focusing on the breath and how the breath is so important because that breath itself is the breath of god that is your direct connection to god and it's very interesting to hear that from christian perspective or i'm not too sure if it was christian maybe it was a type of christian but um you know that goes along with these you know esoteric teachings of breath work and you know connecting with your higher self so if it's your connection to god right i'm assuming that it's you know that elevation that elevation um but not even you know i think it's just all breath honestly because you yourself are god right you yourself are god and your breath is your connection to god but you know we we don't realize that we're god on a 100 percent basis you know like unless you're a complete devotee to staying within this mindset all the time 
then you're not gonna feel like you're god all the time like it's not like you're like okay you can recognize it most of the day and it's like that's that, that's goals recognize it most of the time recognize it all the time recognize right recognizing that you're god all the time is the main goal but you know you have to slowly work there by thinking about it often um actually i just thought of an idea but i'll talk about that in a second um so throughout our day we're we're just you know like cooking food like telling somebody this reading a book when we're doing all that we're not thinking i am god i am god like <laughs> it's not something that comes to us naturally so this okay yeah so <laughs> this i was trying to figure out where i was going with that um so this breath this breath can bring us to that you know since you know we are god and we don't realize that we can bring ourselves to our breath and since we're god you know our breath is god whether it be the elevation or the grounding breath it's it's all the breath of god because you are god and it's your breath so you can elevate yourself you can ground yourself with it you can control your vibration with it this is why when people have anxiety they calm themselves with their breath or like for example when they're you know having an anxiety attack they're breathing fast like, like well okay i don't know if they're breathing like that i've never had an anxiety attack i don't think um but you know your your heartbeat is fast your heartbeat is fast so you're breathing fast you know you're you're pumping like more your heart's being fast because you're breathing fast so like your heart is in direct connection with the oxygen that you're bringing in from your lungs from from your breath so if you're breathing in a lot of breath you know it's speeding up your heart rate because you're you're taking a lot of oxygen and and transmuting it so that's why this calming breath since you are in control of your breath of your reality you are god you can easily take yourself out of these situations by just being aware that you are in control of your breath a lot of health stuff your breath is a reflection of your health whether it be your emotional health your mental health your physical health have you noticed that a lot of overweight people have this very shallow breathing or even people who just have health problems who aren't very healthy you can tell by their breath even if somebody's quiet and they kind of have like a like a very like I guess that's shallow breathing. Um, it's, it's you can tell when somebody's health is good. When somebody smokes, their like breathing isn't too good, and that's because that like you know smoking affects their lungs. But no, it's it's a reflection of our body's health. So you know, you go to the doctor and they check how your breathing is. If they hear something in your the way you're breathing or like in your lungs, then they're gonna know something's wrong. Dogs, okay dogs they breathe super fast like like they pant right and their lifespan is so short like only goes to like what 16 years maybe at most I'm not too sure i don't know much about dogs but turtles breathe two to three times per minute and they live for hundreds of years that kind of goes along with um, the a Buddha saying I heard that they believe that your breath, how many, I think it might be like, not a myth, but like a kind of like old wise Buddhist tale or something like that, is that you're, you're born with a certain amount of breaths in your life. So the longer you live them out, the longer you breathe, like, instead of like and you're using up each breath the longer your life will be if i said that right so since you have these certain amount of breaths in your life the longer you take to use them the longer you live if you use them all up at once while you're like like breathing fast then you're gonna have a short life now that's that's that might not you know, that probably not true but it could be you never know um 
but it kind of goes along with that you know we see it with dogs breathing fast panting they have shorter lives than a turtle that lives for hundreds of years who breathes two to three times per minute now this could be because of something else but everything is connected guys and by studying what we see in front of us we can kind of get the bigger picture it's the the law of correspondence as within so without we study the minuscule and we'll learn the what is it? I, don't, I don't i don't know the opposite of minuscule well i know it's big but like macro school i don't know <laughs> anyways so yeah the that's that's the breath guys that's what i wanted to talk about with the breath um if you guys want me to give you breathing techniques pranayama techniques um ask me and i will definitely go into that but um i just wanted to talk about how important you know i was thinking about how important it is and just why we need to become aware of it you know so now one of my main goals is to focus on my breath more because it is it's one of the most important things in our spiritual journey whether you know it now whether you have known or whether you're we're going to learn in the future you're you're listening to this now which means it's time to focus on the breath and um i i heard something yesterday that was like well, when are you going to start, you know? Like, you're breathing now. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I'll start like later. Like, you're breathing now. You might as well start now. So, my goal, like, every day. And then, you know, it's so easy to drift off. Like, you can forget that, like, you know, you're focusing on your breath. But once you remember, you just bring yourself back to that breath. It's meditation. It's like when you find yourself getting lost in your thoughts during meditation realize it and then come back to that empty space that that focus of the breath so that was my message for you guys today um i hope that you found this useful i hope that you are breathing um i hope that you find that moment of solitude for yourself whether it be a little bit every day whether it be a full day for yourself um but if you find yourself getting anxious throughout all this, focus on your breath. I love how the card said that because, you know, that's that's what we were talking about. Um, so, yeah. I don't think uh, that... I think that was it. I had something else I want to talk about. Um, but, you know, actually, we have a couple more times. A couple more times. <laughs> we have a few... We have time. Um, before we hit an hour. So, and you know, it's nothing big, so... I just wanted to tell you guys that we need to be living in more love and not in fear. I know, I feel like, me personally, I feel like we've come to a plateau during all of this where we're just kind of waiting for it to be over. Um, but, you know, it might not be the case for a lot of people. So, we need to be focusing more on love than on fear. You know, they want they being either the higher ups or the news or whoever you think is in control they want us to live in fear they don't want us to see our true potential of you know what the hell we can do so you know if you want to rebel live in love they want us to live in fear what's the opposite of fear look at the emotional scale chart it's love i joined a online virtual um like sunday church what do you call that uh not session like uh today's meeting i don't i don't know what what they call it today's a uh, i don't know i can't think of the word right now but um it's when you go to church when you go to church um like every sunday so but i did a virtual one of a church that i went to a while ago with my friend called fearless la and i actually really like this church i like um like evangelist type church where they're just like trying to spread spread the message of god because you know i'm a devotee to god i can't like whether they think their god's different than mine i absolutely don't believe so so if they're worshiping god like i'm down to worship with them not on a regular basis but you know it's nice to to have that um every now and then i mean i do it for me personally on a daily basis but not like with them on a daily basis <laughs> um 
so yeah their main thing last week the sunday was more love more love no fear and this was something i was already thinking about and it just like it really struck me because you know i was already thinking about this and how just there's so much fear happening it may not be happening as much now because it feels much more peaceful but that might be just on my end um so i just want to remind everybody to move out of that kind of fear-based thinking and into the state of love because it's not good for our vibration we've seen it on the emotional scale chart it's not good for the universal energy field you know if you're putting out that fear you're just adding you're you're adding fuel to the fire you're making it more than what it is if you're if you're the light worker that i know you to be if you're the god that i know you to be you have that everybody has literally that that highest vibration that love vibration that is the essence of our life that is the god that is within us so when we t we can always tap into it it you know it might be it might take a while because we have so much baggage and we have so much stuff polluting our connection to that core self but if we you know work through our stuff if we do our work as my teacher likes to say um we can definitely tap into this love and this light all the time and that's our goal here that's our job is to raise the vibration of the collective consciousness um by raising our own vibration you can't help anybody until you help yourselves so in order to save the world you gotta save yourself first guys so that's my message to you more love no fear find that time of solitude for yourself be it a day an hour um spend some time with yourself get to know yourself have a little date and don't forget to breathe guys breathing is so important especially during times like this where people are more prone to getting anxious and you know spend some time away from the social media the computer the tv um and read some books you know get get some time spend some time in nature if you can spend some time outside if you're in la it's getting freaking hot it's gonna be hotter today than it was yesterday and the day before that which is insane so i hope you guys have a beautiful week i hope you're breathing i hope you're learning i hope you're receiving divine messages and i hope that you know your path is becoming more beautiful throughout the journey and i hope i hope everything is well i hope your family is well um and that's it i love you guys more love no fear peace